Hi everyone and welcome to another video about the roaster conversion. Um, it's springtime now, it's, days are a bit longer and um, it's warmer so I've managed to find a few hours to get a few things done on the car. Um, it's been a while now since I've done a video. I've got the control tray in and the power electronics all mounted. Um, so getting closer now, I feel as though it's almost there. Um, and this summer should be the time when it's actually finally finished. So I hope this video is useful. Right, so I've cleared out all the carpet bits here. Um, so I'm going to measure all this up um, and draw it all in CAD and then design a box to go inside it, which will house the controller and all the uh, other bits and pieces I need. Right, got the panels back and sprayed them up and they're looking pretty good. Just give them a blast of some silver I had. So it's in two parts. Two parts will nest together. Um, I've used these inserts just to help threading. So they'll go together like that when we're in the car. I uh, blasted that one with black because I didn't have enough silver. Um, and there's all the holes and bits and pieces that I'll need for these different fittings. Uh, a couple of small errors, so I hadn't allowed for a small indentation in the shape of the panel work and my, I need to just slot these holes, they were a little bit out. But apart from that, they're pretty good, I'm really pleased with them. Right, let's try these parts in here. So that one goes in towards the front. So I'm using these two threads that are already in the panel and then I've drilled three more, oh, three more. There we go, so the control will sit in there and I've got all the connectors just at the back side there and then that's covered all the area and then just put some self tappers in those pieces when it's finished. Uh, the heat sink is going to sit slightly too low so I've got to rotate this. Uh, rotate the motor so I'm going to need to get the chassis out get the motor rotated that won't take very long okay so this is the heat sink that I'm going to put uh, under the controller um, and it was a little bit longer when I got it a friend of mine gave it to me um, to make use of it it's just got four fixing holes in the corner it was used for lots of different things in the past obviously there's plenty of holes in there so the controller will fix on like that and that's ready to go in now so this diagram is the most useful diagram I've found in terms of taking a standard wiring that somebody else has created before. So I've got the tray fixed in now. Uh, that's all properly in, all bolted up. I've got the controller in and the naught volt, um, and I've put a shunt in. Um, so the main naught volt comes in there from the battery and then off to everything else. I've put this long stud on here so I can connect loads of things. Um, loads of naught bolt things. Then across um, from the main power in, so that comes from the contactor just towards the front there. Um, under the, well through the plate, through a grommet in the plate. Onto the fuse, so I've got the main fuse across there. Then the contactor, then straight onto the controller. And then I've got another fuse point here which I'll connect on for putting the charge through um, on there. Uh, I've got the, and well, the, all the low voltage wiring, the sockets in, but I haven't connected anything up yet, so that's the next stage. And then I've brought through the wires from the standard smart. Not sure if there's anything particularly useful in there, but I thought I'd bring them into this box. And that's everything in the panel. So that's the controller. So I've got the controller mounted directly to a heat sink. And the heat sink is... mounted just underneath so through a big hole in the control panel but the motor connections are now vertically the plate is vertical there and then these connections are all coming up there so I've got everything connected through this needs a proper grommet in it which is the hall center cable onto the motor we've got the wires there for the fan so they need to go up to a socket and then I'm going to bring through all the low voltage stuff is going to come through the panel here so that's where the normal smart wiring comes through and I'm going to drill a hole just above it and I'm going to bring all the low voltage stuff and then it will go to the 
hole in the panel at the other end. And it will come through here, so I've, I've left a, a panel hole there. Uh, so all the cables can come through there and then I can connect them through and onto the various wires here. Uh, and so the other thing I need to do is I've obviously got the charge um, controllers to go in. I haven't got that yet, um, but I'll probably mount that under the under this plate here where the fuel tank normally is underneath. Uh, and then I also need the 12 volt battery, which I've I've put the other batteries in the front and I think I'll put the 12 volt battery in the back here. But rather than use up this space, unless I can find quite a small 12 volt battery that's suitable, is I might use this hole um, that's standard in the smart and then get the battery mounted down in here. This is the old uh, alternator cable that comes from the front, so I can use this to get everything to go onto the battery and then take the 12 volt system through back to the rest of the car. I put a cover of plate on the end of the motor. Um, rather than having the motor too exposed, I kind of formed this mesh I had and this just about goes in there. It's pretty close to everything, but it's just about gone in there on the back of the motor. So that will keep the air circulation through the motor without getting too much, well, without getting these stones into it. I'm going to bring the control cables through this back plate and this is where the normal cables come through. So they come through that panel, so I'm going to bring them through just above there, route them down through the tunnel. Uh, cables are going to go, obviously I've got the switch, I'm going to use the gear lever, and then I've got the foot pedal with my homemade um, pot on the side of there, five bolt pot on the side of there. That's about it for this video. Um, I hope it was interesting. Um, so next one will be about getting the control wiring done and um, well, getting it running properly. Hopefully it'll be drivable. Um, yeah, until next time, I'll see you then.